The year is 1964. Buick would build a cast iron small block V8 to replace its aluminum 215 mini block experimental engine, which was fraught with head gasket and gasket issues. It's worth mentioning that the iron block shared similar architecture of the 215. It's also worth mentioning the 215 won't be covered in this episode because we did an episode just with the 215. Buick V8s have a tell when you're looking at them. The valve covers are parallel to the ground and not angled like any other V8 from any other different manufacturers. The small block Buick had a bore spacing of 4.24 inches with external oil pump. Distributor was mounted in the front, integrated aluminum timing cover, which also incorporated the mechanism for the oil pump. It also left the oil filter exposed, adding additional cooling to the oil inside the filter. Introduced the 1964 300 cubic inch displacement overhead valve V8 4.9 liters. It's good for 210 horsepower with a two barrel carburetor and 250 horsepower with a four barrel carburetor at 4,800 RPM. Up to 355 pound feet or 481 newton meters around 3,000 RPM with a bore of 3.75 inches and a stroke of 3.4 inches. Compression is anywhere between 9 and 11 to 1. It weighs 467 pounds. Years this engine was used was between 1964 through 1966 with the four barrel. It was used until 1968 with the two barrel. It's important to note that in the very first year, Buick used the aluminum heads as well as aluminum intake from the 215, but they switched to iron intake and iron heads in 1965. In 1966, Buick would increase the stroke to 3.85 inches, which they would also have to deck the block to accommodate the increase in stroke. The intake was also revised, bringing displacement up to 340 cubic inch displacement overhead valve V8, 5.6 liters. It was good for 220 horsepower with a two barrel carburetor, 260 horsepower with a four barrel carburetor at 4,000 RPM, up to 375 pound feet or 508 newton meters around 2,800 RPM with a bore of 3.75 inches and a stroke of 3.85 inches. Compression was anywhere between 9 to 1025 to 1. Gears this engine was used was between 1966 through 1967. In 1968, Buick would offer their very own 350. For those that don't know, General Motors loved the 350 cubic inch so much that all of their makes had that displacement in their lineup. All makes except for Cadillac, Chevy, Pontiac, Oldsmobile, Buick, and they are all different in how they get to that 350 cubic inch displacement number. Technically, the Buick displacement equals 349.31 cubic inch displacement. The Buick V8 looks bigger than that of the Chevy 350 and all of the other General Motors 350s because Buick's deep skirt block design with higher nickel cast iron content, the result was a beefy looking engine. Some even say that it's a big block 350 because of its size was a tall and wide engine just like the big block Buick's. The Buick 350 has the longest stroke of all General Motors 350s. Buick would eventually cut two cylinders off and make a V6 version, but that's another engine for another day. 350 cubic inch displacement overhead valve Buick V8, 5.7 liters. It makes anywhere between 150 to 280 horsepower at 4,500 RPM. It's worth pointing out the 150 horsepower figure is from when they started putting smog on, and they also calculated horsepower numbers differently. They went from gross horsepower, which was... Horsepower that was generated with absolutely no accessories, no nothing, best world, best case scenario, to more of a real world figure, net horsepower. They did that around 1972. So all of the numbers that you see previously were best case scenario numbers. Up to 375 pound feet or 508 newton meters around 2800 RPM with a bore of 3.8 inches and a stroke of 3.85 inches. Five main bearings. Gears this engine was used was between 1968 through 1981. Some sources say that it was built in the early months of 1981. It's worth mentioning Buick used other engines from other engine families 
during this era, like the 260, 307, 403. These, those were all Oldsmobile engines. The 301 was a Pontiac engine, and the 305 was sourced from Chevy. All right, now it's time for Would You Rather. Two scenarios today. Which one would you rather have? 1968 Jeep Gladiator with the Dauntless V8, a.k.a. Buick 350, or 1968 Buick LeSabre, or 1966 Buick Special. I'm going to leave this here for a minute. If you need more time, feel free. Pause the video. On to the second scenario. All wagons. 1964 Buick Special Wagon, or 1965 Buick Special Wagon, or 1967 Buick Special Wagon. Once again, going to leave this here for a minute. If you need more time, feel free. Pause the video. Now it's time for Name That Tune. First person to get both the name of the band and song title correctly in the comment section will have their comment pinned to the top of it. It's hard to believe that that song is almost 20 years old. That's your hint. It's from the mid-2000s. Anyway, thank you all so much for coming out and watching this. If you'd like to get in touch with me, shoot me a comment in the comment section below. Or you could always send me an email at what underscore it's underscore like at a lost and mostly forgotten web provider, yahoo.com, if you're interested. Thank you all so much for everything that you bring in the comment section. I love reading the stories. I love reading the memories that you guys share. And I, I love reading the additional information that you guys can provide as well as information and insight to various things that the internet just can't provide. Thanks again for everything. And until next time, toodaloo! Here is a small glimpse into the pipeline on what's to come on what it's like.